Hello everyone, Sevi here bringing you the new 7.3 Demonology Relic and Netherlight Crucible Calculator. This is going to be a quick tutorial outlining how to use it as well as highlighting a few of its features. This is a read-only file so I need to go up to the top and click File, make a copy, and I can name it whatever I'd like. I've gone ahead and done that here. So this is going to be the one I'm going to be able to use the drop down menus on and this is going to be my version of this. Before we get started, you need to understand that this tool is not meant to replace simming your own character. So why is it here? This is going to be an easy way to read all of the sims put in one place. Right now it would be extremely difficult and realistically hard to run and display all of the possible combinations of relic affixes and crucible affixes and still keep the information current. So think of this calculator as like a mini sim output compiler. So pretty much it's going to compare two relic affixes or potential crucible affixes, their sims in a user friendly manner. So how do we use this? We're going to go and we're going to select a target number. So we can do one, two, and five. So if you've used one of the calculators before, notice that it's been updated instead of three targets it's now five targets to better represent current gameplay situations i'm going to keep it one target i'm going to then choose my current relic i'm going to select uh, my beginning relic trait so i'll do doom and it's eye level and then I'm also going to select my Crucible Tier 2 affix. If it's not unlocked or if no DPS affix, if it's a non-DPS affix, I'm just going to keep it none. I'm going to do the same thing with Tier 3. If it's not unlocked or if it's a non-DPS affix, select the none D slash uh, non-DPS. So I'm going to do Dreadstalker. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and this would be what I would be comparing it to. So trying to figure out which one is going to be the better one. So it's going to spit out my current DPS on each one of them and give me a quick comparison. So this one says my comparison relic is better by 0.578%. So man, that is a really close percentage. So highly, highly, highly suggest that you do sim your character at this point to make sure which one is actually going to be best for you. Now, if you're using this calculator to try to find out the maximum DPS that you can get, it's going to let you select two of the same relic affixes, which you are not allowed to do in game. However, it will give you an error message saying that you need to go ahead and change that because that is not allowed. This will not trigger, though, if you're doing two non-DPS because you could technically have two non-DPS uh, relic affixes uh, of different names and that would still be legit in-game. So just be aware of that. You can also look under the math tab so you can see where I'm getting these numbers from and this is all of the sim information compiled into one spot. So please make sure that you are checking back because this information is going to be updated when changes are made to make sure that the information is current and relevant. So you can see this date that the sims were run here and the date that I updated it here. Other charts are also available on the Lost website based off of these sims. Same sims, but in different formats. So that there's a plus eye level and there's also a percent gain. It is all of the same numbers. You use whatever you feel benefits you the most and whichever one you feel is the easiest to read. So I hope this helps. I hope you can enjoy this and thanks so much for supporting Loss and its creators.